Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate cake. The, what you'll need is two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of white sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of vegetable oil, half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, half a cup of buttermilk, and half a cup of butter. First, you'll need to preheat your oven to 350. Okay. Next, you'll need to grease and flour your 11 by 17 sheet cake pan. This is a 11 by 13. It just means it'll be able to cook a little bit longer. So, to butter it, you just put some butter and smear it. I just wash my hands just by just to let you know, you should wash your hands first, and you just smear it along the bottom. Make sure you get the corners. I'm just going to rinse off my hands quickly. Okay, so now I have just a spoonful of flour here. So just dump it in. And then you're going to tip your pan around so it gets all around in the corners and stuff. get it everywhere and I'll stick because of the butter in the pan. Okay, and okay, in a large bowl, sift together the two cups of flour. Then, with the sugar, your two cups of sugar here, and baking soda. Okay, that was one teaspoon. And I'll just stir this a little bit, just get it kind of together. And you're going to stir in the eggs, vanilla, and buttermilk. not to get any shell in it. And vanilla. It's just a teaspoon, do you believe? Yep. And your buttermilk. Just stir this in. You don't need any electric beaters. You just kind of it all up, get it mixed. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I did use a spoon a bit because it was quite stiff. So now you're just going to put this aside and get out a saucepan. Here's my saucepan. I have butter in it already. It's nice and melted. And you can use margarine if you like. Butter or margarine, they usually work the same. And so in this you're going to combine the butter, the oil, the cocoa, and the water. So 
I have my butter in here and my oil. this I just have it at three and we're gonna bring it to a boil and stir until smooth so so now I just have that at about six and it didn't take very long but you need to continuously be stirring it the whole time or it will burn on the bottom of the pan and this is what it looks like now so now you need to go back to your cake mix that you put aside before. And you're gonna slowly blend them. A spatula you can get it all out okay now we're gonna try and stir this all up okay so now it's all stirred up and you're wanting to pour the chocolate cake mix into the prepared pan Your spatula will help get all the mix out. Okay, so just gonna put it in the oven. goes in for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to put it in for 15 and check it. And when I when I do check it, what I do is put a toothpick um, three spots in the cake or just in the middle, kind of go in it. And when you pull it out, if there's um, doughy cake mix on it, then you want to have it in for a bit longer. And this will probably have to go in for longer because it is a thicker pan. Okay, so, so now we took the cake out of the oven and this is what it looks like. We've let it cool and ran a knife just along the edges here. And then what I'm going to do is flip it over with this pan so that it has the, the flat um, on the top, flat part on the top. <laughs> Having slight difficulties. Okay. Now this is what it looks like, so it's a lot flatter than the top. Okay, I am now going to shape my cake. I am making it into the letters dad for my dad's birthday. And you can do a different word if you want, but um, I'm just gonna cut it out now and I'll show you when I finish. Okay, so I now I have my fondant here. It came in the package as red, we never color it, but um, you 
just we bought it from it's called Duff Goldman and it has the instructions on it so we just warmed it up a bit and now we're gonna roll it out really thin okay so now I'm just got it mostly all rolled out I'm just getting it completely smooth Okay, so now I'm just pulling it off the counter, slowly, so it doesn't rip too much. Just laying it over my cake and now I can smooth it off. Okay, so now I have my fondant all on and cut out, and I'm going to decorate it with my Scribbler's icing. Now here is our final product. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Nice. Happy birthday, dear 